acheke, ateki, or couscous is what's on our menu today with some fried tilapia together with some vegetable sauce and pepe. Please stay with me. I have my cleaned and scored tilapia in this bowl. I'll go ahead and add in some powdered pepper. I'm using Kivu hot pepper. You can also blend or grind pepper if you like and then marinate your fish with it, okay? I'm adding in some local spices, seasoning and then salt to taste. You can use any seasoning of your choice, okay? So now I'm going to massage my fish so that all the spices I've added will coat the fish properly. After which I'll cover and then leave in the fridge. You can also leave it on your countertop for about 30 minutes so that the spices will penetrate into the fish properly. So after 30 minutes, I've heated up some oil. I'm going to go ahead and fry my tilapia. Alternatively, you can air fry your tilapia or bake your tilapia. But the authentic acheke or ateke or couscous recipe demands that you fry your fish, okay, for maximum enjoyment. So this is actually my second time of trying acheke, okay. My sister bought me the couscous from Elmina. And then I tried it the first time. I wasn't too sure of myself, but it went so well. So the second time I was trying this at home, I decided to film this video. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Yasmi and welcome to my kitchen, Taste and Bloom. You're so welcome to subscribe and join this amazing family. So I'm going ahead to prepare my sauce, my vegetable sauce. So in a bit of oil, I'm adding some chopped onions. This is the same frying pan I fried my fish in, okay? I'm going to saute the onions for about three minutes before going in with my carrots. The goal is to still maintain some crunch after the sauce is done, okay? Let me take this breather to say a very big thank you to my amazing returning subscribers. I really appreciate every like, comment, and share. Please continue to support me by doing exactly that every time. Next, I'm adding my bell peppers and tomatoes. So for this vegetable sauce, you can use any vegetables of your choice, okay? I'm going to stir fry this for about two to three minutes and then add my sardine oil. So the first time I made this, my husband suggested we add some sardines and to be honest, I didn't regret it. I'm going in with a bit of heat as well from my Kivo hot pepper and then I'll add some seasoning, give it a good stir and then add my sardines, which will be the last to enter my pan. A gentle reminder that I'm also on all social media platforms. All those links are in my description box. Please check it out and follow me there as well. I share short recipes over there. I even share longer ones on Facebook as well. So please join me over there too and let's grow those social media platforms as well. So at this point, my sauce is ready. I'm going to set it aside and go ahead and grind the pepper to go with my acheke. So I have some tomatoes, onions, and pepper. I'm going to be adding a bit of salt and then grind it off camera, okay? Now to the acheke. I'm going to put this in a pan on low heat. So my sister suggested that I could have just microwaved it, right? But I didn't want to do that because I wanted to add a bit of the vegetable sauce that I prepared earlier in there. So once I've broken all the lumps in there, I'm going to go ahead and add in a bit of my vegetable sauce with the little oil in there and then give this a mix. So back to the microwaving method, you can just put this in a microwave safe bowl and then sprinkle a bit of water on the surface. Put it in there for about 30 seconds, bring it out, fluff it up a bit, add in more water if you'd like and then put it back in there for about a minute and then your acheke or couscous or atiki will be ready. So at this point, let's plate and then begin to enjoy our food. I hope your mouth is watering enough to push you to try this recipe because you're going to love it. And until I see you again in another recipe, please don't forget to keep blooming. <music>